A process paragraph or process essay is meant to explain how to do something or describe how something is done. And there are two ways that you can show process. The first kind is what we call instructional process or directional process. Now in this case, you're explaining to the reader uh, how to perform a task, or how to do something, or how to make something. For instance, how to operate a machine, how to build something like a doghouse, or how to make pancakes. Now you're giving the reader a set of instructions to follow, and you're expecting that the reader will be able to perform the task after they've read your paragraph. So in this case, you are speaking directly to the reader. You're using words like you, or you're using the imperative. Now while this is quite common in daily life in something like a recipe book or an instruction manual, uh, it's not as common as the second kind in the academic world. Now the second form of process is what we call uh, informational process or descriptive process. Now in this case, you're not giving the reader instructions to follow. You're simply describing a process in order for the reader to understand it. So for example, how does a Hollywood movie go from being an idea to a completed film? Or how is maple syrup produced? Okay, so here are some tips on how to write an effective process paragraph or essay. First, you should be using the present simple tense and the passive voice, generally. Now you want the present simple because you're describing a recurring action, a process that is unchanging. It was the same yesterday as it will be tomorrow. And you're using the present, or the passive voice because you want to focus more on the product itself and not so much on the person who is performing the task. For example, maple syrup is made from sap which is collected from maple trees. Okay, now when you're organizing the steps in your process, you want it to be logical for the reader. So you should be using words that express sequence, like first, second, then, next, or finally. For example, first, maple trees are tapped and the exuded sap is collected in buckets. Now while it's important to use words that show sequence, you don't want to use a sequence word at the beginning of every sentence. You don't want to be saying first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and so on. You want to avoid repetition. So an easy way to do that is to use pronouns and relative clauses. For example, the syrup is filtered to remove sugar crystals. This creates a superior product free of an unpleasant gritty texture. So the word this is referring to the entire sentence beforehand. And also you may want to include uh, some definition in your process writing because oftentimes when you're explaining the steps of a process, uh, you may be using words that are unfamiliar to the average reader. Just as an example, uh, in my first sentence, maple syrup is made from sap which is collected from maple trees. Someone may not know what sap is, so you may want to be a little bit more clear because the key is that you want your process to be as clear as possible. Okay, so if you follow these steps, uh, you will be able to write uh, an effective process paragraph. And if you want to practice this, follow the link at the end of this video.